Can I take this glacier right here and turn it into a brand new mega super base? Let's find out. I think the answer is going to be yes, because there is so much potential in a base like this. Guys, welcome back. Let's turn this into something awesome. And if you watch until the end of today's video, as we transform this glacier into an insane base, I'm going to let you in on a secret. So I want to have a very low key entrance into this base. All right. And I think that we've done it. Just a straight up ladder that leads straight down. And then another one over here. Can't have too many entrances. We need a door though. A door that blends in. And I feel like the warped door has just got to be the move. Oh, it's not that good looking actually. It's always spruce, man. Spruce is always the move. All right, I had to give us some, some drips on the outside. Just a little low-key drip action, which looks pretty clean. But we've got an entire list of things we need to build on this. For example, like the crafting zone. The crafting room has been complete, so check this out. It's I wanted to make it nice and adorable because you're living inside of an iceberg. You got to make it adorable, so check it out. You walk inside, you got your blast furnace wall, obviously blue flowers because, I don't know, we're, it's blue. Then you got this little painting of a man that stands here and looks at you. And of course, your barrels in the roof. I don't know how you installed those bad boys on the ice. Will it melt? I don't know. Now that's one of many rooms done today. We are transforming the entire glacier into a mega home, and then you are going to figure out how you can win it at the end, so make sure you're paying attention, guys. Now, up next, we're going to build something that I spend a lot of time time in in real life and that's the bedroom no that's because i'm crying myself to sleep most nights that's why so let's go ahead and build that real quick i feel like for a glacier base you got these two entrances we gotta make a fat i'm talking like a fat zone down here you know what i'm saying look i just got this vision of like some guy sitting down here that's like super rich and super wealthy and he's like i don't know maybe why he's living here if he's rich and wealthy can't explain that to you oh wow okay you know what though i gotta work with this man i'm trying to work with what nature gave us okay so check out what we're about to do here Dang. If that ain't a living room that every single person on this planet doesn't want, I'm gonna be shocked. Look at this. Can you imagine looking down and seeing that like giant tube out your window and being like, dang, look at that giant tube, babe. And she's like, yeah. Floor wise, I don't really know the best move. What I do know though is I feel like blue and white are kind of clean. This ladder doesn't really fit in, but I need to obviously change the floor. But the problem is I really like the stone look, to be honest with you. Um, I think I'm gonna keep it. I'll keep it. I'm gonna play a little risky today, folks. We're living in a, we're living in a glacier. I mean, we're not after a luxury lifestyle here. You know what I'm saying? Like make do with what you got. Nice little snow gradient in here. This is one for the this is one for the moms. Nice little symmetry there. I, mm, I don't know about that dirt. I feel like the dirt kind of you can't have dirt in your house. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is slowly becoming a place that I would like legitimately like want to live in. I'm like looking at this. I'm like, yeah, I could live here in real life. This would be fine. I don't care about spiders, people, social interaction. I don't like I have any of that anyway. You know, tell me. This doesn't look kind of cool. It almost feels kind of more like a museum, to be honest with you. I was supposed to be making a bedroom and I got carried away. You know what though? We can't have this without like some little icicles popping off the ceiling. And the icicles transition to end rods over here. Oh my goodness. Look at this genius look at that. Look at that. That was so good. All right, I just, I literally just got a freaking Jimmy Neutron brain blast. I'm sitting in here. All right, I'm sitting in here. I'm thinking, wouldn't it be cool if there was an igloo inside of this base? And that's what we're about to do, a literal igloo. I don't know how to make an igloo. I just remembered, or do I? You know what? No, I, I don't know how to make an igloo. I thought I did for a second, but I mean, this will be, this will be kind of weird if we, if we do pull it off. Ah, hmm. we could work with, this could just be another bonus feature that we pop on. You need a skylight who needs an igloo. I take it back. I don't want an igloo no more. I'm about to get a call from an architect because I feel like I am inventing a new form of glacier art right now for a home. Look at that. Tell me right now you would not sleep in there because I, I wouldn't. There's no way people would be staring at me all night. You know that, you know, the FBI is up there somewhere in a skyscraper or something like peeking down. I don't know, man. Now, as I said, this is the glacier ice bed. OK, you got to be sleeping right in the center. It's it's got to be right in the center. OK, then you need some glacial furniture. So check it out. That, I don't, I don't know what that is exactly. It kind of looks like those things you lay on in a therapist and like a shrink. Okay, you guys are probably wondering what this is about. I'm gonna leave it here for a little bit to let your brain, brain churn and I'll come back to it. We chain the barrel to the ceiling. Look at that, that's absolutely beautiful. You chain a barrel to, I don't know if that really makes sense, but I think it's kind of cool. I don't know, man. I don't know what I just invented there, but it's it's feeling spectacular to me. All right, we're gonna be a very smart person, all right? Which means you gotta have a bookshelf. Even if you don't read it, it's very important to at least appear smart. Yeah, I mean, look, you got to be able to ice skate if you're going to sleep, to be honest with you. If you want to be able to ice skate to your bed, that's a, that's a move you got to make. Now, guys, here comes the moment of truth. I don't even know if this will work on my server. Oh, 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 it's the wrong type of ice. 
There it is, guys. Now, beside your bed, you have literally got a creeper head staring at you through the ice in the wall. That's kind of sweet. Yeah, I mean, really, for the most part, you just gotta have a couple chests in your bedroom, and I feel like this thing's pretty much wrapped up. Guys, look how freaking sweet this bedroom looks. Oh my gosh, what a view. And we started with literally an iceberg. This thing is coming together. Look at this, man. That is clean. That is a clean design. Oh my. Now, guys, I thought the two entrances... We actually had three. It was a little bit too much, all right? So check out the newest addition. The crafting zone now has a secret entrance into the base. You can walk inside crafting zone just like this. And guess where it is? Boom, behind the painting. You can then go in the new entrance. So I'm going to just clean it up a little bit. Open each of these to access what's in it. A little bit of privacy, you know what I'm saying? All right. Oh, wait, well, look at this. Urgent news. Shop.loverfella.com for brand new limited edition cyberpunk merch. You know what it be, guys. This one's for all my Zacklings out there. If you're a subscriber and you play on the server, I'm hiding a chest right next to the base full of netherite in diamonds. You guys can find it in a glacier that looks like that. All right, before the next addition we make, which will be one of the greatest things we do, we need to make this living, living room look better. So let's do that back wall. And there is the back wall. I think that pulls the room together pretty nice right there, guys. Got yourself a nice little uh, giant waterfall inside. Very peaceful and relaxing. And if that's not enough for you, bam! You can always turn around and just embrace this Literally one of my favorite views I've ever seen in Minecraft. I am so impressed with that one. All right, the next thing on our agenda is the chest room. One of the most important rooms in a build because otherwise, like, people are going to steal all your stuff. So obviously, you got to hide it a little bit. What place could be better than behind your giant fish tank? So I think right here is where we're going to try to build it. All right, I'm thinking blue concrete base for this one, and then we'll have chests on either side like that. And then right down the center is where it's going to get really cool. I'm actually going to put a water feature in the center, and um, I'm thinking... It's actually gonna connect to the fountain, which is gonna be kind of wow. tricky, but pretty sure I can do it. So that's your path that's gonna let you walk between all your chests. Then I want it to connect. I don't know if it's actually like fair to PETA for me to be putting a turtle down there in captivity like that, but it is pretty cool to have it. So this connects all the way underneath and then the, the aquarium actually comes over and connects to this. So your turtle literally could be here or in your chest room. You're never gonna know. I, I don't know, I kind of think that's a cool feature. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That's a pretty dang good chest room. <laughs> a little bit of fire at the end as a painting came out great. And then in between each one of these. Yes, sir. That, my friends, is a complete ice dungeon chest room with a turtle. But by the way, turtle hasn't died yet. I want to point out how impressive that is. My boy's thriving down there. All right, we're changing the entrances even more to make them even more secret. Oh, geez, the creeper just blew up half the base. I think I just lost my partner. I did. My partner just died. Oh, no. That's so sad. Oh, wow. Hate to see that happen. But anyway, we can get rid of the uh, door here and even make it look more like a natural glacier. Now, you're not even going to know where it is because it's all hidden. That's freaking amazing. There are multiple secret ways to get inside of this beautiful base. That is kind of cool. Let's add some more detail to this front wall. This back wall needs a treatment. Here we go. <sighs> look at this, guys. We built a naturally integrated cave into the base, uh, which I think is kind of freaking sweet. Cook your meat back here, chill with your boys, um, and then you literally got a living room right next to you. So it's still not done with the living room, but like, that's kind of cool. I think what this room is missing is a conversation pit, okay? I think we need one. I think we need a natural one that integrates with the landscape. If that ain't how you pull a living room together, I don't know what is. A sunken seat that's kind of also being held up by chains. Like, that's freaking classy. Um, we extended this all over the ground now so you can see the little blue thing. That is freaking cool. <laughs> I don't know why we need a bell, but... It felt like the right move. Wow, 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 wow. So we've got to recap here, guys. The bedroom with an insane view of outside. Again, we started with one of those glaciers. We've got this living room, which honestly, come on. Mm, this is gorgeous. Look at that view outside. I can't get enough of it. And then this zone has really become like this multi-purpose crafting chill zone. You know, you got all you need. Grindstone. I mean, you got it all. <laughs> this looks way plain. My friend said this looks way plain. There you go, Josh. It does look pretty plain. Uh, I'm with you on that. like a spruce tree up here, you know, just to say like, yo, we spruce in this place up. Hey, whoa, whoa, that's cool. Oh no, the ice melted. That's not cool. That's not what we wanted. All right, that's a pretty darn good back wall. I'll be honest with you. That's pretty darn good. I don't know if this is the best solution. I don't think that's what I want. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, guys. When I see a giant pillar like that out in the distance, it literally just screams to me, enchanting table must go here. 
Yeah, that's cool. You take it up just a little bit and you can see your enchantment room inside of that building. The dirt, though, is kind of disgusting, man. I ain't about the dirt, okay? That is that is art, guys, what we're seeing right now. Art. This is artistic. It is beautiful. It needs that corner to not look like that. The most important part of any base, guys, is the detail time, all right? This is where the base comes together. It looks good and needs some details. You need to spruce things up. You need to add the small, fine touches that you see pro... Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about, but... Yeah, I mean, when it comes down to detailing, it's really just not my specialty. Half the time, I just place things. Like, for example, I'm about to pick up a spruce button, man. I'm about to just literally freaking... Oh, no! Dang, torches started melting my roof. <laughs> Gotta be careful about that. But yeah, like, why am I putting buttons on this? I don't know, but I feel like that's what pro builders do. I mean, even a lever. Like, why do... Why would you... Why would I do that? I don't know. We are going to do a little touch-up on the enchantment room. We could tie in that little corner piece, at least. I mean, that, that looks kind of sweet. It's, it's, it's not an art, all right? To get this right is not an art. We are redoing this thing from scratch, and keeping the view is super important. So even this ice here... You know what? No, this ice is part of the glacier. That ice can stay, but this stuff can go into our outer wall here and give us that blue vibe. I just don't want to overdo it. I feel like we are. You got the view. I think that's what you want. What if you, like, replace more of it with glass? That way you get even bigger view. We expand upon what we already have, and we create something magical, you know? Guys, I'll tell you what, we really pulled together this enchantment room. It's it's important to get right, because these are easy to just throw together like I did. But we came back and we said, no, we said, we're going to do it right the second time. And look what has come out. That thing is spectacular. The way it's hidden back in there. <laughs> How about that? A floating enchantment table over top of a pit of lava. Now, guys, if you want this base all to yourself, it's in zone 19 on my mega survival server. Nothing in this base is claimed. If you come right now, you will be able to claim it. So please, guys, join the server. Peace.